Major medical breakthrough, stunning procedure that saved an infant named KJ, offers hope for so many others. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Tanner Rule, is back. What a story this is. This is incredible. When KJ was a week old, he was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder that affects just one in 1.3 million babies, often with a life-threatening outcome. Thanks to highly personalized genetic treatment, KJ and his doctors have blazed a new trail that could help so many. This morning, a groundbreaking gene editing therapy that's given nine-month-old KJ Muldoon a second shot at life. It's all been a miracle. That's the only way to describe it. Just days after he was born, KJ was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder called CPS1 deficiency, which causes ammonia to build up in the blood and can lead to brain injury. Unfortunately, about 50% of babies pass away from this disease in the first week of life. The standard of care for the disorder is a liver transplant, but KJ's doctors at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia had another idea. They could try to correct the error in his DNA that was causing his disease. I have this like profound feeling that like this is going to be the thing that helps, you know, change his life. KJ's doctors working in collaboration with researchers and clinicians to create a personalized treatment for him using what's called CRISPR or base editor technology, the first time it's ever been used in a child. And when these particles are put into the bloodstream and the liver cells take up these particles and now they have the instructions to make the base editor and once they've made that base editor inside the cells it knows where to go and it fixes it. KJ received his first infusion in February just over six months after his diagnosis. By the next day he was up laughing looking around playing with his toys like nothing ever happened. KJ's doctors say he has been successfully treated after three infusions of the therapy, hitting his milestones, growing and thriving. They were huge Eagles fans, and um, the day he was born, I ordered a Jalen Hurts jersey, and I just didn't know if he was ever going to wear it. Just to see him do these things that we never thought they were possible have been inspiring. Estimates show there are more than 7,000 rare diseases affecting 30 million people in the U.S. A similar approach with technology like this could treat hundreds of thousands of genetic diseases like sickle cell, cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease, and muscular dystrophy. Yeah, there's just so much potential here. There is. I mean, it's there are moments in medicine as a doctor where you sit back and you say, this is a turning point. This is really miraculous. We are headed in a new direction. To be able to create precision, tailored, Dr. Musaniro called it bespoke medicine. Wow that can be made so quickly at a low cost that drug companies will want to do this. I mean, this is incredible to be at this point. You know, the doctors and scientists who worked on this said that they really believe that this is the most significant thing they've ever done. And I think, you know, as a physician, the greatest thing is this changed the conversation from doctors walking into a room of this family and saying, would you like to make your child comfort measures, end of life care, to now being able to give this family and this baby hope and a new life. I mean, it's, it is just yeah. life changing. When this started, we all went, what? Yeah. I mean, it's really amazing what, what, what medical field and what they discovered and what they're doing to help save lives. It, it and and I, I want to help little KJ too, and I want to give him a Giants jersey. <laughs> that is really <laughs> parents. <laughs> <laughs> and the good news is he's going to grow into it. You better get a big size yeah, yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Dr. Drew.